So today we are going over how to make just a basic pico de gallo. I feel like this is a very necessary skill. You need a cup of coffee, also necessary. Do not at me. You need, uh, it's basic, right? So you need an onion, you need a lime, Everybody following along? You need a couple of peppers, a couple of tomatoes, some garlicky uh, bad breath boys, and you need a bunch or a half bunch, however much fresh cilantro as you want. If this tastes like booty to you, leave it out. My god, it's not rocket science. It is pico de gallo, but if you leave cilantro out of your pico, man, we're going to have issues. So you need a bowl, one of these things. Can y'all see that? Bowl, 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 bowl. And a thing, uh, a, a strainer, a mesh, whatever. This is so we can rinse all of our veg. These I'm not worried about, or onion I'm not worried about, garlic I'm not worried about. Cilantro I'm not necessarily worried about, but these will get cleaned. We may rinse the cilantro off, whatever. You do you. I've never been big on rinsing stuff. <laughs> not really sure why I'm rinsing the lime. Alright, worse decisions have been made before. Uh, I'm not really big on rinsing stuff off, but we'll just get it cleaned up a little bit or maybe not really big on rinsing stuff off so thoroughly I'm just trying to get whatever's on the outside off and that's it all right so we got tomato tomato jalapeno jalapeno this can go in the sink now absolutely step number one in this recipe is your onion step one don't skip this step okay just want to go through it's pico de gallo you can chop Chop it kind of finely, chop it however the hell you want. If you want gigantic onions in your pico, knock yourself out. But this is just how I do it. Remember, it's not a how-to, it's a how-I. I'm not sure I'm the first one to ever say that, but I don't necessarily care either because somebody's going to cry. Oh, you're not doing this right, you're not doing that right. Well, you ain't invited to my damn house. Ladies and gentlemen, is a chopped onion. Or a chopped half of an onion. And the other half is on the other side of the kitchen waiting for me to make some kind of dinner. I got a better idea here. Let's get this fancy cutting board to the edge. And off. Alright, next step is steps one, two, and three absolutely crucial you go in this order all right garlic does not matter how much garlic you use use all the garlic use one garlic don't use one garlic that sounds like terrible pico again it's just a rough chop you're not doing anything special slow if you have to go slow don't chop off your stupid fingers that can stay open for the time being those can go in there and just want a rough uh, small rough chop I'm not aiming for anything super duper but I do like uh, I do I do enjoy the garlic. I do like the garlicky stuff. So in the 
this batch I'm going to use four. Normally, if I would rough chop this in a blender, I'd just throw this all in there and just not give a crap. But we're doing this by hand today, just as a basic recipe. I do it by hand more often than not. See how I'm keeping the tip of the knife right there on the cutting board? And moving this, you're gonna slice off a digit. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. All right, that is good to go. This comes back to the edge and swipey. Done, okay. Step number three, lime. Roll the freaking crap out of this thing. You're pre-juicing the damn thing. Just inside of itself. You want it to be, you want it to go from a tough, hard exterior to a, just a softy boy. Okay? That's, li that is literally my amateur interpretation of this process. All right, now we take this, slice that guy in half, get a juicer, get your hand, get a fork. I do not care. Lime this in the bowl. She's a squirt, uh, never mind. I don't know what that means. Y'all are gonna have to tell me I am a saved human being. I do not know what that means. So now we have garlic, we have onion. Why do we do this all in this particular order? Because that citrus acid inside the lime juice is going to knock out that overly oniony, really strong smell that you get out of onions. Uh, some people may like that. I do not. So if you do like that, hey man, you do you. I do not care. We are just making pico. Kind of make it how you want. This is just basic pico. All right. Next up, tomato. I slice this end off usually. Slice off the very tip. I don't know why I didn't just do this all at the same time. I'm not exactly a smart person, so whatever. Again, we're just trying to get to about the same size as the rest of the damn salsa is. It's gonna be chunky, it's gonna be weird, whatever, or not salsa, pico. It's gonna be weird. Don't stress over the damn thing my god it's all going to the same place that's terrible <laughs> okay see and then we just do it's tomato gotta make sure your knife's sharp just go easy let the knife do the walking let the knife do the work in here Scoop those off. Turn. And then the same with this tomato. Just let the knife do the work. You force this. Guess what? I'm going to chop off a freaking finger one of your phalanges is gonna go for a uh, uh, is gonna go meet Jesus it's gonna go for a walk what the what, the, what in the world all right tomatoes 
those for Pico. If you have any stragglers, just try to chop them down. Again, it's not going to be perfect. It does not necessarily matter unless you just don't want a big, a big sliver of tomato. It really don't matter. Jalapenos. I guess these can go back to their to their living quarters. Yeah, in there somewhere. All right, jalapenos. Let's do this, shall we? Jalapenos are really easy to chop. Leave this stem, but that thing, leave that on. You're going to want that. Now, I do not de-seed whatever, uh, take the nuts out of my jalapenos because I'm really the only person that eats spicy food in my house and I prefer to have spicy pico. Again, if you don't like the spicy pico, cut the crap out. You do you, man. Did I get all the way around here? I don't know. I don't know why I have an accent either. Ooh. So, again, these are about yay size. Now we need to chop them down. A good, uh, that's a good spicy jalapeno right there. Just trying to get everything into the same basic size, or as close as you can get it. It's up to you. All right, now you can. Discard your stimmy boys. <coughs> Ooh. Spicy. Coffee helps with spicy food, doesn't it? That's weird. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh, yeah. Right at the edge. I'm glad I taught myself this trick. Now, uh, let's, ha let's have a little chat here. You just touched all of the jalapeno. All of it. Okay? Don't go rubbing your eyes without washing your hands first. Don't go downstairs somewhere because it's not going to be fun. I won't admit if I know from experience or not. I do. But, uh, yeah. You forget to wash your hands. And then you go to the bathroom. Uh, the pain is real, man. Alright, let's get this rinsed off. We're not using all of this. Get as much water as you can off of there, even though this, this whole entire ordeal is pretty moist. Just like that. Okay? That's probably too much. It is what it is. So this just needs a rough chop. Stems and all. Are you catching my drift here? Again, if you don't like cilantro, if it tastes like booty, if it tastes like soap, if it tastes like whatever, don't freaking put it in there. But I'm going to make fun of you though. Cause that's, that's weird, man. Alright. Rough 
chop cilantro to the cliffs and then cilantro in cilantro in cilantro in cilantro cilantro in cilantro in oh god all right what have i done and now we can move this guy out of the way coffee out of the way now, you really can add pepper if you want to to this but all it really needs for just basic pico is salt you want to kind of add mm, what you would think just a little bit over a lot of salt i don't know what the actual measurement is i can't tell you that's why it's always salt to taste Okay, get this all mixed up to where it actually looks like pico de gallo. Mm. Do the bowl spinny thing. Oh, God, it's scraped. I hate that noise. Okay, and give it a taste. Does it need a little more salt? Yes. Taste again. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is a beautiful pico de gallo. Man, I should do this every day. Oh, wait, I do this every day. All right, that's it. This goes into the refrigerator for an hour or two to get everybody, you know, everybody needs to get to know each other. Onions need to calm down a little bit more. Other than that, it's seasoned perfectly, very simple. Put that in your recipe repertoire. It was easy for me to say, hang on. I need to take a breath after after that word. That sucked. All right, put that in your recipe book uh, and impress everybody that you know how to make pico. I don't know, fuck man, it's pico. It was, what was it, like six things? All right, that's it. I got out of my damn kitchen. <laughs>